Welcome back. You know, this is my favorite segment. This is my favorite segment. Inspiration Vibe. And you're asking today on Inspiration Vibe, where is your self place? Where do you find safety? Where do you feel protected? Where, do you f where is your self place? Okay. When you have money, where do you keep it? Guys keep it in their mobile banking, in their banks, in their circles. Where do you keep your money so that you can feel safe that actually my money is safe there? Okay. When you're young, I remember when we were young, <coughs> There's no way we could share a room with our parents so we could sleep separately. So I put it you like, unashtuka. Hey, dad, mom, I've seen a ghost or something. You're so scared. You're calling on your parents <laughs> to come rescue you from this ghost or this big animal you've seen in the corner. So they come, take you to their room, and you feel safe in their room. You feel so protected, you feel so safe, you're like, Ay, apa. here is just the safe place, there is no ghost which can come near me. And at home in your house, let me tell you something. I have this friend, we do sleepovers every single time at, di at our different places. So, ata kikuja kwango or I go to her place. She will never feel safe. She's like, have you locked the door? Even after locking that door, she doesn't even feel safe. She goes back and lock, checks that we've locked, checks the bedroom we have locked the doors. That's when she actually feels safe. So this, this afternoon I'm asking you, where do you feel safe? Where is your safe place? Even in, spirit, in our spiritual life, matter spiritual, how do you feel safe with your spiritual life? Where do you trust? This? Whom do you trust with your spiritual life and the spiritual work? Because most of us, you know, desire to grow spiritually. We all desire to live a peaceful life, you know. We desire our daily schedule to be without any hitches, without any challenges, without any attacks from the enemy. But Paul reminds us that our struggle is not flesh and blood. So, because as you lay back and relax and just chill, the enemy behind the scenes just skimming and, and doing funny things and crafting and plotting and how to take away that, that peace of yours, your peace. So, but do not be afraid guys, do not be afraid. Despite him being skimming and plotting and doing funny, funny things just to take away your peace, yeah, I bring you good news from the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 to 11, which says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, okay? That is from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10 to 11. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The rushes run to it and are safe, verse 11. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city. They imagine it an scalable wall. You know, in the Old Testament, a tower uh, from the book of Proverbs, a tower was like a warning, a warning place. So. It, of danger or they go there to shield themselves from danger so they find safety in that tower and so when the, the proverbs were written the point is that god's name which stands for his character person and everything that he is provides true protection for his people that's why when it was written the name of the lord is the strong tower so we run to it we are safe it is that tower that he's always watching over for the enemy as he plots in skin. When you go there, we are safe. We find safety, okay? The word of the Lord God assures us that if we commit anything, I mean anything, we are safe. We commit our life to God, we run to it, we are safe. We find protection. We commit our family, we find protection. Guys are going to do their KCPE and their KCSE. Even guys in campus, you commit your education to God, guess what? You are safe. You commit your earthly riches, your money, your wealth, everything, your children, everything. Commit it to God. Guess what? You are safe. Okay, you commit your spiritual life, your spiritual work, as much as you grow in spiritual. Paul reminds us, this battle is not flesh and blood. The enemy is also scheming on how even to attack your spiritual life. So guess what? If you commit it to God, you are safe. You find protection in God. To the name of the Lord, which is the strong tower. We are safe to it. So we run to the name of the Lord. We run to God and we are safe. The name of the Lord is our safe place. I'm here to tell you this afternoon that the name of the Lord, the name that is above every other name. Go read that in Philippians. The name that is above every other name. Everything to it. At the mention of it, every knee bows. Everything bows to it, including the enemy, bows to it. The name that is above every other name is our safe place. So let us run to the Lord. Let us run to our Lord to find safety. So I'm going to leave you with, the, with Psalms 91, verse 1 to 2, which says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High 
we rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. God bless you so much. Thank you so much for staying with us here on Jesus for the past two hours. God bless you. Hmm? Next. Yes.